Yep. Welcome into Sports Center. L. Duncan, Kevin Nagandi with you. More on today's breaking news surrounding serious allegations facing the Suns organization and majority owner Robert Sarver live from Phoenix with full coverage. Plus, Dak is back at practice. We're going to see what that means for Sunday as we've got a live report and PTI back with more from their big finish on how concerning LeBron's latest injury is. That is actually Welcome where. Welcome back to Sports Center. The apparent rift between Odell Beckham Jr. and the Cleveland Browns appears to be widening. On Thursday, the Browns excused the receiver from practice for the second straight day with what's being called a non-injury related personal matter. With an important division game against Cincinnati this weekend, our Coley Harvey has more on this latest Browns drama. All right, thank you, Coley. For more on this, we bring in our senior NFL insider Adam Schefter alongside Monday Night Football's Lewis Riddick. I'm going to get to you in a second, Lewis. I mean, the ship has sailed to trade them, right? The deadline's passed, Shefty. So where do we go from here with the Browns and OBJ? Look, he wasn't there today for a second straight day, L. He so it would be such an unceremonious ending to what was a blockbuster trade just a couple of seasons ago. So, Lewis, if this was, if we have seen OBJ play his last days as a member of the Cleveland Browns, when you look back in retrospect, why will it have all gone this way instead of the way it was supposed to? Yeah, it's certainly uh, incredibly awkward. It looks like at this point there's sort of like it's like a paid suspension. Don't know really when it's to happen. At the end of the day, when someone does do that retrospect, right, on who is to blame, you could say really Baker and OBJ because the metrics say Baker's not giving him anything to catch. And when he does, OBJ is dropping it. Lewis Riddick, mm. Adam Schefter joining us here on SportsCenter with you. the latest on the drama surrounding OBJ in Cleveland. Friend of the show, always love when you can come by, NFL analyst Dan Orlovsky joining us now. Dan, it feels like the Carson Wentz experience is – we just saw the numbers. The numbers aren't bad, and you will get some good production. But then you're going to get some unconscionable decisions mm. like what we saw with that interception in his own end zone against the Titans. What do you need to see in terms of adjustments so that we can see some more consistency? I want to see tonight the most boring. So certainly Carson wins under some pressure, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know if the same exact amount of pressure that Jordan Love's going to be facing, sure. filling in for Aaron Rodgers. But what do you hope? What do you think? think you're going to be able to see from him making his first career start. It'll with start with his feet. All right. If you want to watch that game and see if he's going to play well. Short and intermediate passing game is really a focal point for the Packers offense. He won't have to do too much. In sure. fact, this season, 30% of their passes have traveled at or behind the line of scrimmage, second highest rate in the NFL. Dan Orlovsky joining us here on SportsCenter. Congratulations. World on series. what? What happened? World, World Series champion. Oh. We're the Won't champions. Get a ring, it's us. We won. Assistant to Sports Center, one of the stars of number one Georgia's dominating defense, linebacker Adam Anderson, has been suspended indefinitely after being accused of rape. That's according to ESPN's Mark Schlebaugh. Anderson, who's a senior, hasn't been arrested, and Athens Clark County Police say the investigation is ongoing. Anderson leads the Bulldogs with five sacks. They play Missouri this weekend. Uh, Kirby Smart has weighed in and said he will cooperate fully with the investigation. Okay, we got college football coming your way next.